Ryan Sanders, and this is your Daily Energy Report. Norpac, the largest paper manufacturer in North America, has recently launched a new improved refining process that is considered one of the largest energy efficiency projects in the U.S. The newsprint and specialty paper mill company is located in Longview, Washington, and is the largest industrial consumer of electricity in the state. Norpac has been working with public utility Cowlitz County Public Utility District and Bonville Power Administration to identify energy savings opportunities. Norpac can cut its power requirements by about 12%. Once complete, the project is expected to save Norpac 100 million kilowatt hours of electricity a year, which is enough energy to power 8,000 Northwest homes. In addition, the construction created 64 full-time jobs in Longview. The U.S. Federal Energy Regulatory Commission has given its approval to Ocean Power Technologies, a leading renewable energy company, to initiate the deployment of a wave power station off the Oregon coast. Ocean Power Technologies plans to tap wave power to generate 1.5 megawatts of electricity, which is enough power for approximately a thousand homes. Construction of the initial device is nearing completion and is expected to be ready later this year. OPT has received funding from the Energy Department, the Oregon Congressional Delegation, and from PNGC Power. A new recycling program has been started in North Carolina and South Carolina. Duke Energy Company is helping customers to recycle outdated refrigerators and freezers. The process is taking place in a new recycling plant in Charlotte, North Carolina, operated by Jayco and creates 16 new green jobs and returns 95% of the refrigerator and freezer components back to the manufacturing stream. Unplugging old refrigerators and freezers can save up to $150 annually on a customer's energy bill. And proper dispose of old electronics helps the environment, avoiding the contamination of landfills with poisonous substances. Eon Climate and Renewables North America, one of the world's largest investor-owned power and gas companies, announced the official opening of the Magic Valley Wind in Raymondville, Texas. The wind farm is the first wind energy project in Willacy County and is powered by 112 Vestas, 1.8 megawatt turbines, providing more than 200 megawatts of power, enough to provide electricity to more than 60,000 households in Texas. The construction was completed by Blattner Energy and employed more than 200 people, generating approximately 20 permanent positions. In the U.S., the wind industry has invested more than $60 billion in providing 35% of the electric capacity in the last four years, and employs more than 75,000 people. I'm Stephen Sanders. For more in energy news and analysis, visit DailyEnergyReport.com.